Let's take a look at how we can implement face detection in Python. What we want to achieve is we want to input an image of a crowd, and in the output image, we want to have small squares around the faces of the people in the crowd. To begin, we need to install the necessary modules. We're going to start off by writing pip install opencv underscore python in the terminal and installing that module. And the second module we want to install is face recognition. So let's go ahead and write pip install face underscore recognition and execute that too. Afterwards, we're going to import face recognition and import cv2, which are the two modules we just installed. Next, we can go ahead and create the variable image. And to this variable, we're going to load a simple image of a crowd. And it's going to be this image that I have in my file tree right here. After that, we're going to insert the image of the crowd into the face locations function from the face recognition module. This is going to find all the faces that are in the image and save it to the face locations variable. Then we're going to create an index and set it to one. And this index is going to be the unique identifier for all the faces that have been detected. Next up, we can create a for loop. And this for loop is going to iterate through the tuple top, right, bottom, and left in the face locations. Now, the reason why we do that is that the face locations give us an array. And within the array, we have individual tuples that have four coordinates within them. And these coordinates are what we're looping through because these coordinates make up the square that is shown around the faces of the people. To draw the squares around the faces, we can use the rectangle function from CV2. Within this function, we first input the image onto which we want to draw the squares. And that is going to be the image of the crowd that we defined at the very beginning. Then we insert the coordinates of the square, so first off the left top point, and then the right bottom point. We then set an RGB color that defines the color of the squares. And finally, we set the thickness of the squares lines. After that, we want to label the faces with the index that we defined. We're going to use the put text method from the CV2 library, where we're going to input the image, the index as a string, and the position of where we want to position the square. We also add a font, a font scale, a font color, and the line width for the font. And once the square has been drawn around the face of an individual, and it has been marked with the index, we want to increment the index for the next face. Finally, we need to use the imshow method, which creates a window as well as an image within the window with our output. Since we want to keep the window open until a key is pressed, we're going to write cv2.waitkey and zero. And if we press a key, we want everything to close down, so we're going to write cv2.destroyAllWindows. Now when I go ahead and run this, you'll see that the image of the crowd has all the faces marked with small squares. And in addition to the squares, we also have a small index next to the faces. All right, we're gonna leave it here for this video. Let me know if this video has helped you out. If it did, leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll make more videos on this topic in the future.